Hey fellow YouTubers, Roland Martin here with another exciting YouTube adventure. Hey, you know, I read your comments. A lot of people comment and one of the real prevalent comment comments right now is what knots do I tie for braid? We're talking about braided line. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you three really great knots. Now here's some regular 50 pound test braid that I'd use to say for say worm fishing. But I'm not going to use that for the demonstration. For the demonstration, I have some really big, thick, thick line. It's, it's big, 130-pound it's test saltwater braid. And it's, it's for like marlin or stuff. But at least you can see it. It's all really, really uh, big time. See, And instead of just a little bitty hook, I'm going to use a great big saltwater hook just to tie the knot. Well, OK, the first knot I want to talk about is the knot not to tie. In other words, everybody, look, when they first start fishing, everybody kind of grows up with, with a regular clinch knot. A regular clinch knot is just the number one knot that everybody first learns to tie. But I'm going to show you something. With braid, the clinch knot does not work. I'm just going to tie this. Watch this. I'm just going to come through the eye. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, Five, and I'll go back through that loop again, pull it up tight. Now, just want to show you something. I'm going to go over to this vise right here, and I'll put it in this vise, and I'm tightening the vise down. Now, watch this. I'm going to take some. I'm going to take this screwdriver, and I'm going to pull on it. And watch this. Watch this knot now. Remember, I said, do not tie this knot. This is not a knot I recommend. I'm pulling it hard. It pulled right out. Clinch knots pull out of braid. Braid is not the knot. For, uh, clinch knots not the knot for braid. Okay, okay. So what is the best knot? What's the absolute best knot to tie a lure with? Uh, without any question, it's the Palomar knot. The Palomar knot is so easy to tie. That's what I'm going to show you now. This is the number one knot for braid. Period. Period. Okay. To tie that Palomar, what I do is I put about a foot of line. Uh, doubled over and I go through the eye of the, of the lure, the hook or whatever, and I tie a great big giant overhand knot in that line right there. I come out of that knot with a big loop here. Okay, I take the lure of the hook and go right through that loop. Okay, and I pull it all tight. I start with the, the main line first, pull it down tight, the main line first. When that's tight, then I just pull with the tag end. That is a fully tied, fully executed Palomar knot. Now, of course, I would trim it off. I can trim it off with a knife. I can do that pretty easy. It won't slip. Now, that, that's, that's 96, 97 percent. Maybe I could get one more percent by using either crazy glue or super glue. Put a dab of that on that knot. It might help you just a little bit. And it might cast a little bit better as well. So that's, that's the number one knot. The number one knot of all times. Okay. What's the second knot? <laughs> well, you know, before I talk about the second knot, let's talk about rod guides for a second. Let me just talk about rod guides. Okay. Here's a standard, more or less a standard rod guide. Look at the tip. See how big it is? That's kind of a small guide. Now look at this other rod. This other rod has a micro guide. Look at that, kind of go zoom in a little bit. And you can see that the micro guide is real, real small guides. The guides are the micro guides, are itsy bitsy guides. The, the guides on this other rod are more of a standard size. It's a small guide, but it's, it's bigger. If you want to use a leader, and, and this is really, really prevalent, we so often will take braid, like this 50 pound braid, and I'll tie some fluorocarbon leader, say a 14 pound leader, a 17 pound leader or something, maybe it's clear water, I want leaders. So leaders are real important sometimes, particularly in clear lakes, like out west and Lake Mead and all those kind of places. We all tie leaders, but we all use braid. You have to have a leader. Okay, the micro guides will not cast a knot. You can't use a micro guide and braid and a leader. You can't do it. It just won't, it won't work. It just won't cast, period. So if you're going to be casting a leader, you're going to have to have a bigger guide on your rod. So I don't buy micro guides. I, I, I don't like micro guides. I don't, I don't promote micro guides. I use leaders so much on braid 
that all my guides and all my rods, for the most part, are larger guides, and they cast fine. Okay, now let's talk about the knot itself. Okay, the knot itself is what we call a double uni knot. Now, it's the number one knot in saltwater. We take like a 50-pound braid and say a 14-pound test of fluorocarbon. That would be just a good combination. Okay, now again, I'm going to demonstrate with this big, heavy 130-pound test line because it's orange and you can see it. I'm going to cut this thing off. It's hard to cut. Okay. Hard to cut. Okay. Okay. So, for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to take this 130-pound test saltwater line, and I'm going to take a 100-pound test monofilament. This is a really big 100-pound test monofilament. Now, let's tie a double uni. This is the number one knot in saltwater. It's the number one knot in freshwater. It's what we all recommend, tying braid to either monofilament or uh, tie and braid to uh, fluorocarbon. Okay, to tie it, to tie this knot, I take about a foot and a half a line and pull it apart. Now to tie that, I take my hand right in the middle and I'll take this loop end, okay, with the braid side, I make a loop right here. Wreck a loop, come through the loop once, twice, three, four, five. I'd go six or seven or eight with lighter braid I'd go up to nine with lighter braid, but this is such heavy braid, I'm only going to do five. I'm going to pull that down tight. I'm going to pull it down tight. Okay, now I'm going to take the whole line, the whole knot, everything, and I'm going to switch just, I'm just going to turn it around 180 degrees, okay? Now, on this side, let me pull that thing a little bit. I have another line. This time I'm going to take the monofilament or fluorocarbon side and make a loop as well. Make a loop. Make a loop right here. Make a loop. Now go through that, one, two, three, uh -oh, three, four. Now, with this big heavy saltwater line, I'm only gonna go four. If this were like 14 pound test line, I'd go five or six. I'd be the lighter line at the more turns. So let's pull it down tight. Now you'll wet it a little bit, wet. Now, now just pull the whole thing up tight. Pull the whole thing up tight, and again, pull this tight. Pull everything tight, as hard tight as you can. I'm going to trim the edges and trim the uh, uh, that off. If I had some clippers, I could clip it with this. This is one way to do it. I clip it with those, or I can clip it with. Uh, in the case of, of of the braid, a good sharp knife will cut braid pretty good. So I can. Do that. Okay, now I have a properly tied double uni knot in that braid. Now, for again, for a casting a little bit better cast, it, it, this super glue or crazy glue will help it go through the guides better, number one, and give you another percent or two of strength. So, anyway, any of these super glues are really good. They really will do the job. So, that's really, really a good knot. I fish braid almost every reel. Sometimes it's straight braid to my flipping stick. It's straight braid to say a uh, 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 spinner bait. It could be straight blade to a top water plug. But when I'm in clear water, say I'm fishing a jig or a worm, I'm going to use I'm going to use a leader. I'm going to use this 50 pound braid, for example. I'm going to go down to 10, 12, 15 pound fluorocarbon leader for the most part. And I like fluorocarbon. I use my super glue. Hey, great for clear water applications. But the thing about braid is so sensitive. I can feel that strike on that worm or that jig so much better. It's such an advantage having a leader in braid. It's way better for your worm fishing, way better for your jig fishing, any kind of deep water cranking as well. Those, those kind of things are, are really something that, that I really, really believe in. Okay, what are we talking about another third knot? Well, I got a third knot for you. Let me just cut this off real quick. And I'm going to talk about a knot that's really, really, really a, a important knot for me. And that is, you know, I do a lot of crankbaiting, for example, and uh, a lot of uh, uh, top water fishing. And a lot of times on, on an average crankbait, there's an O-ring or there's a snap. Now, I don't like snaps. I don't like O-rings. I think that it's a weak link. I like a really good, strong loop knot. And I tie this loop knot, and I call it the double uni loop knot, 
Well, it's not the double uni, it's actually just a single uni loop knot. Let's just take a hook, for example. Let's pretend this is just some kind of lure, like a, like a crankbait or a spinnerbait or any kind of thing. That, particularly a jig. Oh, t I tell you what, the best thing is right here, this jig. That is in salt water, we always use loop knots on these jigs because it allows the, it allows the action of the jig so much better than, than anything else. Let me just show you how I tie a, a loop with a uni. Well, now the first step is I'll come through and I'll give me some slack here. I'll tie an overhand knot in my, in my line, just a big loop. Second step, take the tag in and go right through the lure itself. Right into the lure, right through the lure. It could be a, a jig, it could be a crankbait, it could be another thing. And then the third step is go through that loop that you just made. Pull it all down tight, pull it down tight, pull it down to the hook, pull it down to the hook. Now, when you come to that point, you go to the uni deal. You make the loop like I showed you in the, in the double uni. I make that loop like that. I go through the loop once, okay, twice, three times, four times, five times. This is, again, really heavy line, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, go too many times. But now, now I've pulled it down tight. Now watch when I pull it loose. It all comes forward. It all comes forward. It all comes forward. It all comes forward, and it's tied. Now that's a, a properly tied loop knot. I can trim it off. Okay. And again, for that extra 1% or 2%, Use your crazy glue. Use your super glue. All that can help. Now that's kind of a big loop knot, but hey, there's an advantage with a loop knot. If you're around pike, if you're around muskies, if you're around saltwater fish that have a lot of teeth, that's a double line now. So now it kind of acts like a little bit of a leader. And so by having double line, it's, it's, it's harder for those toothy critters to cut through a loop than it is a single line. So it's somewhat of a leader as well. So it's stronger, for the toothy critters, it's a really super strong knot, and it's a knot that's going to give you more action for jigs and many of the crankbaits that you use. It's just the third of the really great uh, braided line knots. So folks, okay, you know, I've enjoyed doing these YouTubes, and I'm an old school, school teacher at heart. I in fact, I taught algebra and stuff in high school years ago. And I, I was in the Army, and I taught rifle uh, marksmanship, and I'd like to reload, and I like to shoot, and everything like that as well. Uh, it's just a sideline. But anyway, I, I enjoy teaching you guys a thing or two if, 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 if you want to listen. Uh, I, I, you know, I'm an old guy. Hey, I, I can probably uh, tell you how to fish better than I can fish myself. That's probably the, the end, of, end of the story. But I, I, I enjoy doing the videos, so watch me. Every Wednesday at about 6 o'clock, I'll post a video. And every Sunday about 6 o'clock, I'll post another video. I'll see you then.